Raska, R-A-S-K-A. Um, tonight, February 20th, approximately uh, 12.52 a.m., Texas City received a call in the jurisdiction of suspicious vehicle regarding catalytic converter thefts in an apartment complex. Oops. When uh, Texas City arrived, they located the vehicle, attempted to make a traffic stop on that vehicle regarding those thefts. That vehicle fled, led them on a very lengthy pursuit. Um, it came up 45 north <laughs> through their jurisdiction into the city of Houston, um, where it ended here at uh, West Gulf Bank and Garden City Drive. Um, the suspects fled on foot. There were two suspects. Um, both suspects were captured um, and have been turned back over to Texas City. Um, where they've been transported. You know about um, as of now, right now, we know of one, per, uh, during the pursuit, there was one uh, vehicle accident here within the city limits. Um, those, those individuals that were involved in that pursuit, uh, that accident with the pursuit are okay. Um, and we're working that accident and we're working this scene um, with Texas City. However, Texas City is taking the lead in the investigation. Questions? Sorry for the failure of my light. Um, no. Real quick, so how many in total do you have in custody? Two. Two suspects in custody. Um, that was confirmed through Texas City and also through DPS, who was overhead with their helicopter at the time that they bailed out of the vehicle. My understanding is that there are a number of catalytic converters inside the stolen They, From my understanding, Texas City did recover evidence that would indicate that these individuals were, in fact, stolen catalytic converters. Okay. And any, any idea on the, the extensive criminal record of both of them? I have no idea on that at this time. So, like I said, uh, we're still early on in the investigation. Texas City is going to lead this. They took custody of suspects. They're going to take custody of the vehicle and the evidence in the vehicle. And uh, like I said, HPD assisted with the pursuit, and we are working the accident that did occur during the pursuit. And like I said, my understanding is those individuals are OK. It was a minor accident. And speeds? Um, I'm not sure on the speeds, but they were ex uh, in excess of 60 miles an hour. I remember them saying several times on the uh, on the air. Um, throughout most of the pursuit, we did have two helicopters overhead, so they assisted us in keeping the speeds down a little bit so we could back up. Because I was hearing reports that speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour, not just on the freeway, but on surface streets. That I'm not sure of. Thank you. Thank you.